So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video. Now this video was recorded during the early access for Matariki Park, so a huge thank you to Nine Rocks Games and the Way of the Hunter team for allowing me to take part in this early access. Now this video will contain some spoilers for the Matariki Park story, so if you don't want any spoilers then I would stop watching right now. Now I want to give a huge shout out to Idaho, a fellow creator from the Way of the Hunter official discord for actually letting us all know that this was something you could go and do now this location right here if you go here at about 10 30 you can actually hunt an animal that appears during the story missions and like i said idaho actually let all of us creators know about this location so a huge thank you to idaho for that but this is ghost a five star mature red deer with a white coat he appears during the Matariki Park story missions a couple of times and it turns out that he is actually roaming the map and you can find him in this location. Now, I don't know whether you can actually find him here in Free Hunt. I did this in story mode just to make sure he should be here. So like I said, go to this location at about 10.30 in the morning and you should find Ghost actually hanging out, which is really, really cool. Now, of course, as soon as I found out that this was something you could go and find, I had to go and hunt this guy down for myself. And he is absolutely amazing. He is completely unique. He is not an albino. He is a white stag. So he just has a white coat, but he's basically like a leucistic. He doesn't have the, the pink nose and pink hooves and stuff. It is just a white stag, which is something that is really cool because you do see just white stags rather than albino stags in real life. So this was such a cool thing to actually have in the missions and then be able to go and hunt down afterwards. It's so, so cool. I will have a missions video up, should be before this video, so you can actually go and watch that video if you haven't done the story missions or don't want to do the story missions and you will see ghost appearing in those story missions a couple of times which is just so cool when i saw him in the story missions i was kind of disappointed that there was never a mission to actually go and hunt him down so the fact that he does appear on the map like to go and just hunt down in your own time rather than during the missions is a really cool touch and i'm really pleased that they actually did that because it gives it more of a that feel you know they mention in the missions that he's like a local legend and you know the fact that you can just come across him out here by yourself rather than in a scripted mission makes it feel more special so this was just a really really cool thing and i much preferred this to actually having a scripted mission where we go and hunt him now you're going to notice that I don't actually shoot this guy straight away. I really take my time with this and this is something I love doing with unique animals like this. And we even get him roaring here really really close which was so so cool to actually see. But yeah I just wanted to see how close he would come and get some really close up footage of him because he is a completely unique animal and he's very very beautiful. I mean obviously he's got that huge five star red deer New Zealand wrap which is just incredible it just is so so huge and you will have seen these in my previous video if you watch that they just look so seriously impressive so he's got that impressively massive rack and then this unique white coat he's just a gorgeous specimen and getting him to come like really really close like this and just having him walk around while we can get some close-up footage of him is really cool. This is something I love doing in any hunting game I play is getting really close to unique and rare animals and obviously this guy is one of a kind. You can't get just a white red deer. You can get albino red deer which looks slightly different but you can't get this exact coat on any other animal. This is a completely unique mission animal, which is such a cool thing to actually see, a really, really neat detail. And you can see he's just sort of walking around us here, which is a very, very cool experience to have actually had with this guy. Much cooler, I feel, than just shooting him at distance. Now he trotted off there, but I did call him back in and I thought, you know, when he comes back in this time, I'll wait until I'm confident and get a good shot on this guy. I was actually feeling a little bit nervous. I wanted to make a really good clean hit on this guy because I just felt like, you know, this is such a unique animal. I want everything to go perfectly. So I was feeling a little bit nervous actually about actually making sure I got a perfect shot. But having him stare down the, the scope there was so, so cool. And then he sort of walks above us here on the skyline. 
and it gives me a perfect opportunity at a broadside shot and as you can see he reacted really really well to that shot i was very confident it was a good shot and you can see he's stumbling already as he runs along that skyline which was just fantastic i knew he shouldn't be going anywhere really from that that was the 338 so a pretty pretty strong round sh should bring him down pretty quickly and yeah there was a massive blood trail and you can see he really didn't actually go that far he's just down in this sort of creek bed down here and he is just basically about to expire he is bedded down and this was just like i said just such a cool experience everything went to plan which is something that doesn't always happen when you're hunting these different animals in the in these games but for him to come in so close a couple of times get a nice perfect clean shot on him he didn't go very far and then he dropped perfectly was just absolutely perfect what a gorgeous animal that couldn't have been cooler in my opinion really at all that was a fantastic experience and yeah, like I said, it was just such a cool thing that you can come across this guy outside of the missions, hunt him down and send him to your trophy lodge. Once again, just a huge shout out to Idaho for actually finding this and letting everybody know that this is a thing because without Idaho letting us all know, I would have never found out probably until much later on. So I'm really grateful that we actually found out about this because Idaho found him and that Idaho was willing to share the location. So just a massive thank you once again. But this guy is a hundred hundred percent on his genetics i have never seen an animal outside of the story missions ever have a hundred percent genetics obviously this is technically a story animal so it is still like a a pre-spawned i would assume guaranteed spawn i assume everybody will have him on their map in the same location and he is 100% on the genetics, which is always just really cool to see that nice round number. But I was wondering exactly what he would score having the 100% genetics. I was assuming he would be a max score because, you know, obviously 100% genetics, he should be complete max. But look at that unique silvery white coat. Really, really different to the uh, like the other variants for the reddit obviously the common and for the albino because the albino has the uh, the blue eyes i know technically they should be pink eyes but they have blue eyes and obviously the the pink nose and stuff so this like i said is a completely unique fur for ghost which is cool that he's actually got a name and everything that you learn through the story missions i like that little bit of a story that goes along with this trophy normally i don't keep mission or guaranteed spawn animals for the trophy lodge but because this is one that you could go and sort of hunt down yourself and it just was a little bit different i actually wanted to tax this guy and send him to my lodge now he actually scores 499.9 i'm really surprised that he's not a 500 score and i don't know if that's actually intentional but 499.9 is of course absolutely massive and you know like i said this is a, tr a trophy that I would assume is a guaranteed spawn. So having a really high genetic percentage and a really high score is kind of what you'd expect because all of the other mission animals tend to have really high genetics and really, really high scores. Like the, again, spoilers, but the lion over on Tika Moon that has basically the same really high score and really high genetics. So it's kind of what I expected, but I would have expected him to score 500 flat. But regardless that's not even that important to me he could have had much lower genetics and a much lower score what's important is that he is a completely unique animal and i would really encourage you to go and do the matariki park story missions i don't know if you can hunt this guy before you complete the missions i would assume you can only get him afterwards because he actually does appear in the story missions but regardless i would recommend you go and do them like i said i'm gonna have a full video on the channel of doing all of the story missions for this map they are really really good i would say the best story missions for any map so far so i highly recommend it and then of course i would highly recommend you going and hunting down this completely unique trophy red deer stag for your trophy lodge very very cool and like i said you can get him in really really close so you can take him with a bow a crossbow a rifle whatever you want to do this is a very cool thing and i hope that the devs do more stuff like this where you know animals appear maybe in the story missions but then they can appear on the map for you to go and hunt outside of the story missions i feel like i said that that just adds an extra element to it that feels a lot cooler to me even if it is like a guaranteed spawn it just feels 
cooler because it's like going on your own hunt for the animal so i really really like that i think that's a really cool detail and of course then you have to go you know someone has to go and find it and if it's on the same spot for everybody then that's you know kind of makes sense but it's cool that you never know then if an animal appears in the story missions that it might appear somewhere on the map so you'd be looking in every future story missions for any animals that appear just in case maybe they appear as a spawn on the map somewhere even if you don't get to hunt them in the story missions so i just think that this is a really really cool idea and i hope the devs actually continue to do this with future maps and future story animals because this is just really cool the story that goes alongside this guy about him being a legendary animal in the local environment is a very very cool thing and yeah i just absolutely loved this hunt but that is going to be it for this video i really hope you have enjoyed it i hope i didn't ramble too much about how cool this was but i just really really liked it and stuff like this you know when i do really like it i get very very excited and passionate about it so hopefully i didn't ramble too much but to me this was just a really really cool experience and i'm really glad that i got to record it and share it all with you guys but like I said, that is going to be it for this one. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.